Welcome to jQuery video series and this is part 18 and today we are going to look at the EQ selector. Okay, so let's see how far we have reached. We have covered these two first and last and today we will focus on EQ. So let's jump into the code and before I go there and if you are new to jQuery then I want you to download the jQuery first by using this URL which is jQuery.com slash download. Once you reach there you need to download the uncompressed version of jQuery. Once you do that you need to import the jQuery in your project and after that you need to reference this file file into your head section and after that we write a JavaScript code in order to perform some action right so at present you can see once the document gets finished loading I am selecting the all h2 tags so let's look at the mockup what I have here is I have two h2 tags I got two div tags and each div contain three paragraphs so as per my current uh, you know instruction it is going to select the h2 so let's test that out to see if j jQuery is working fine. Yes, it is working fine. So today our topic is to pick the elements, you know, based on the EQ selector. An EQ selector expects an index. Okay, so if I say index is zero, it is going to select paragraph zero. If I say index is three, then it is going to select the paragraph three. Now, if you start counting, you go like one, two, three, and then you might say, hey, it should select paragraph true. But in the problem is, uh, you know, in jQuery and a lot of programming languages, when you make a collection, the index always begins at zero. So that's why when I say EQ of zero, it's obviously it's going to select the paragraph zero. When I say EQ of three, then it's going to select the paragraph three. So let's watch that in action. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to say, hey, jQuery, first find me all the paragraph tags, then I want you to find a specific you know uh, index element so paragraph 3 so it should pick up this guy okay so let's test that in browser and let's see what do we get indeed we are getting 3 because the indexing begins at 0 so this is 0 1 2 and 3 correct okay so this is how the EQ works and if you want we can try a few more examples so like I can go like EQ 1 so it should select the second paragraph Right, and it does that. Okay, so now uh, you can do, you know, your mix and match as a homework. All right, so I hope this helps. And now let's take a look. We have reached the EQ as well. Up next, we are going to discuss the GT selector. Okay, so I hope to see you there. And thank you for listening. Good night and take care.